Okay, so I've been a little busy and uh, I got a few more of these squares done. Um, so if you count these out, you know, I've got about what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, you know, maybe 19, uh, 20. Um, so if I wanted to go ahead and just show you how to shade, goes the bell, um, how to shade this nose. I'm gonna go ahead and do that really fast. Um, so <clears throat> if you take a look at this again, you know, uh, the nose is really a, a, a really interesting uh, thing because what it does is it, it can show you um, modeling. And we're gonna erase this line. Remember I said that Before you do any of your shading, uh, you can go ahead and just erase some of those lines. And so we're gonna get rid of that. Uh, otherwise, you're gonna have to erase them after you've done your blending, and then your shading, and then that makes it so you have to go back over it again. And to avoid that, we're just going to go ahead and erase that now. Okay, so um, again, we're just going to lightly kind of shade this whole area here. And then I'll use that blending tool to kind of grade that back out again. Um, now right here in the nose, it, is, it does get a lot lighter. So I'm going to bring that out just a little bit. Uh, it's especially light, like right here. So we do want to have a little bit of that. And I've tried to bring a little bit more of the bump of that nose in. There we go. Uh, right in there. And so... Now this is... What's interesting about the nose, again, is the modeling. Um, the... shadows that the nose creates is what makes the nose what it looks like to us okay um, otherwise it wouldn't look at all like what it is so we're going to kind of put some of these shadows in here for that upper lip Um, now, shadows are caused, just to kind of give you an idea, shadows are caused because the light is striking an object and it will be reflected off of the object and anything that the object is obscuring from the light is going to create, is going to cause uh, lights and darks, right? Or it's going to cause your, your, your shadows and your dark areas. So, if you understand that, you know that the shadows that you're creating, or the dark areas that you're creating, that is what is being made, or that's that's how your your the dark areas are made, is because you have something that's hiding it. just over that line. I gotta make sure I know where that line is. And this comes just underneath there. So I do want that to stay white. But again, it's all about shadows. Okay. Now I can go ahead and blend that. And I think that might be a little bit much. So I'm gonna take away some of that.
because it's a subtle shadow, right? And the same thing here is kind of this subtle shadow that's right there. So we're just gonna subtly bring it in there. And the same thing with how it goes up the bridge of the nose there. We're just gonna bring some subtle shadows in there. It's not a lot. It's, it's too much is gonna, you know, kind of blend that, okay. So that should get kind of give you an idea. But how to do some of that shading. Now remember, you're gonna take away, you know, any of these lines first before you start doing your, sha your shading. Otherwise you gotta go back over it again. All right, anyway, you get the idea. Um, I'm not gonna make this as long a video as some of the others I've made. And there's a real little subtle shadow. Um, you had that cleft in the upper lip there. Right? There we go. I'm gonna take a, take out just a little bit of that. There you go. All right. Um, now, as far as that upper lip goes, um, I wasn't really gonna go into this a whole lot, but I figured there's probably some questions, so I'm gonna hit it since I'm there. Um, you kind of want to get that outline of it first. Right? So you know what to make dark and what not to. And then the rest of it is just sort of a subtle shadow. Right? That upper lip is just slightly darker. So we're gonna to wanna to put that in. And then as it curves around the face, some of that light is hitting it, and so it's not as dark. So that's gonna suddenly change. We are putting in a, a couple of lines here where the lip is because there are these lines on, the, on your lips Right? I'm going to subtly shade that in. And I don't know if I want to make that quite so, because it sort of fades. It sort of fades away, right? So I don't know that she's really so much wearing lipstick as it's just a shadow is being caused there, but it does tuck in here. And it's almost like it's just a little hint of a, just a hint of a smile or something right there. And it comes down like that. That's just enough to make it look like she's thinking about something amusing or maybe thinking fondly of whoever it is that's taking the photograph, or maybe it's something else entirely. Seventh and eighth grade class and I, we've been talking about how when we look at people, we have a tendency to make up stories about them. And it's kind of what we do, you know, maybe, maybe I'm doing here is that same kind of thing. Want to make up a story why does she have the smile? It's kind of like the Mona Lisa. Why does she have that smile? Okay. Uh, in case, for those of you who don't know, the Mona Lisa is, uh, has a, this mysterious, enigmatic smile. And for decades, people have been trying to figure out what is she smiling about? 
why does she have that smile? What is, you know, it's just, there's this mysterious thing about the Mona Lisa. Who is she? Why is she smiling the way she's smiling? It's kind of weird. So people have been making up stories about it. How she was having an affair. How... How she wasn't really who's, who they think she was. That she wasn't really the banker's wife. Uh, all that kind of stuff. But anyway. This, of course, as some of you might know, or maybe not know. I might have gotten a little dark right there. I'm just going to take out some of that. So it's not quite so dark. And then this shadow underneath, this is very, very important because what that does is it shows you that that lower lip is sticking out a little bit and creating a shadow. Okay, and then I'm going to subtly bring that out. Okay, that's enough on that. So, um, as you can see, I've got well over my 20 squares that I want you guys to have. Right? Um, maybe that's too dark. You know, it's funny. I was looking to the lens at what you guys were able to see. <laughs> All of a sudden, I could see a whole lot of things. And I'm like, oh, you know what? Probably should have made that go a little bit darker. I just probably should have made that go a little lighter or whatever the case is. Um, that's all right. Okay, so... Um, Hope you guys have a great weekend, and I'm going to call this done um, for now anyway, and uh, we'll come back to it next week.